Congratulations to be one of the winners for uh, the Society of Cosmetic Chemists, the Mem Memory Award. Your shilaksam is fabulous. And I want you to tell people how great it is in a consumer relevant language. Thank you, Ginger. Thank you so much. And thank you for coming to our Provital booth and asking us about Shalaksom. And thank you for the award. Okay, so tell us where does this ingredient come from and why is it so good? So this ingredient comes from the cork oak tree. And what we do, Ginger, is we take the yeast or the microbes that live on the tree and we harness them and we do a a lot of things that are biotechnology to it that I will not really get into today, but we use a biotechnology process that takes the yeast and through our technology, we make an ecosystem ingredient. So what that means, Ginger, is that we take this yeast that works in symbiosis with the plant, right? It works with the tree to protect it, to help it adapt and survive in the environment it is in. And we take that yeast, and as I said, we use a biotechnology platform to make an ingredient that we could then use on our skin that will do the same for our skin, that will help protect it and adapt it to the environment that it is in. That is correct. So this is an endophyte, and an endophyte is the microbiome that lives on the cork oak tree or lives on any plant or any tree. So just like we have our own microbiome on our skin, so do plants and trees and everything in nature. What I find it very interesting is because this is like a step further than the stem cell that you people usually get it from the plant. This is sure. microbiome from the plant. And also you have a different markers that you guys actually developed for the lipidome. Can you talk about that? That's correct. So what we did when harnessing this ingredient is we have a bank, if you will, of endophytes that we started collecting um, using this process. And we call it the tripal biome technology because tri is three and we're working in three kingdoms, right? We're working in the plant kingdom, we're working in the microbiome kingdom, and then we're working in the animal kingdom or the, you know, the skin, our kingdom, right? The human kingdom, the animal kingdom. So we have three kingdoms that are coming together in this creation of this ingredient. And when we looked at this endophyte in particular and what it was doing for the cork oak tree in the fact that it was preserving its longevity, it's one of the longest living trees on our planet and what it was doing to help it survive and adapt to its environment. We took a look at that to see what it was doing um, on our skin. And the first thing we noticed was through transcriptomics, which is basically looking at the RNA genome of our entire skin, we were able to see that this endophyte, this yeast actually upregulated many of our genes that had to deal with our extracellular matrix. So our extracellular matrix, as our consumers know, is our barrier, right? We wanna make sure that we're looking at our barrier. And in looking at our skin barrier, which is our first level of defense against everything out there, we came to realize through looking at papers that the lipid barrier, the lipid barrier that we have on our skin is actually critical to making sure that our skin stays healthy and happy. We have many different sort of, um, we, we have many different things that happen to our skin and irritate our skin. Our skin is sensitive, but if we have a strong lipid barrier, we can almost avoid that from happening. So with the Shalatsum, we took a look at lipidomics and we are the first company um, that was to pioneer this study in our cosmetic industry. And what we noticed, Ginger, through looking at papers is that the longer our lipid chains are in our lipid barrier, the better it is for our skin, the more resilient our skin is, the more it's able to retain and uptake water and lead to things that are going to be beneficial for our skin. And we can get into that in a moment. But what I want to point out is not only did shiloxone decrease the level of lipid peroxidation, which is what happens when you cut our lipids down. So you take a lipid chain and you start cutting it down. That's oxidation of a lipid. And you want to stop that from happening. So not only did shiloxone stop that from happening, but we were also able to produce more long chain lipids in our lipid barrier than we had at the start of the study. So I'm going to say that again, we were able to increase the number of lipids that had long chains associated with them. And we were able to do that in both triglycerides as well as ceramides. 
We all know how important ceramides are to our skin. Most people out there will just claim that we have ceramides in the bottle, but those ceramides go on our skin and they can't go in because they're too big. The molecules are just too big to get into. So what we're doing is we're building those ceramides from the inside. We're really building that lipid layer um, and that barrier so that, like I said, we could really start protecting our skin where it needs to be protected. So then what happens is our hydration increases, our glow increases, our elasticity increases, and our bounce back and our rejuvenation increases. So these are things that our end consumer, the people who are watching me right now, this is what you want, right? You want a product that's going to increase your glow, increase your elasticity. We want bounce back to happen so that as we age, our skin stays at a level of a, of a younger person, basically. I have seen some of the photos. It's absolutely incredible. Your in vivo photos. You also mentioned about skin brightening though on some of your clinical slides. So how Correct. does the skin brightening compare, let's like, say, like a vitamin C or other ingredients? So when we look at our brightening scale, we did not necessarily use it against a vitamin C or other brightening ingredients, but our ingredient is not photosensitive. Photosen sensitive, right? We could use it whenever we need to use it. Um, we have a nice study that shows brightening. And what we also have is not only just brightening, but on menopausal and postmenopausal women, our brightening score is through the roof. And I'll explain why. Because as we age and as we go through these different cycles of our lives as women, our skin decides to change. And when it changes, it becomes dull and it becomes a little bit lifeless. We're increasing the brightness on the skin to a point where that postmenopausal skin is actually getting to a brightness higher than people that aren't going through menopause. So we're bringing it back to a state even before we even entered the pre or perimenopausal state. So really enhancing the brightness of the skin. Um, and ours is done in a one month and two month study. So you will see brightness as quick as one month. That's incredible. And I understand this is also a fermented ingredient, which is very on trend, and this is very eco-friendly. Anything else that you want to tell us about? So I would say that one of the words I love to use when talking about this ingredient is our ecosystem ingredient. Right now, Ginger, there's a big push for our consumers to really feel connected in a holistic way to wellness, health, and what we're doing both with our bodies, with our skincare routine, even outdoors. And there's a big push for us to get back into nature and surround ourselves with nature. And there's a term called eco-psychology where we're finding um, sort of relaxation and we're finding a calm in surrounding ourselves with nature and things of the like. So this ecosystem ingredient that we're creating and many that will come after this are really to ensure the consumer that we hear you and that we want to use ingredients that really get to the heart of this eco psychology. Um, it's very sustainable. It is a ferment. It's made through biotechnology. So we're not using the resources that need to be kept on this planet long after we are gone. Um, so really looking at things well above and beyond on just the here and now and trying to keep it for future generations to come. So I think that's important when using an ingredient as well. And shaloxone, really, we have to start with a barrier. If we don't support and protect and build our barrier up, everything else we're putting on our skin is just like a Band-Aid. Absolutely. I mean, when I first saw this ingredient, I was like, wow, this technology, everything scored 10 out of 10. So before we close, can you remind us again the relevant consumer benefits that when people using product with this ingredient, what are they going to get? Absolutely. Um, we are going to get hydration. We are going to get brightness and even skin tone. So we're not just making our skin brighter, but we're going to even you out. We are going to uh, fix the elasticity on our skin. We are going to have bouncier skin. You are going to look fuller and bouncier as you once did. Um, and elastic recovery is really important. So I would say those are sort of the four I would point out. Hydrating, uh, definitely glow and even skin tone, um, elasticity and bounciness. That's what I would say. Thank you so much for bringing us such innovation to the beauty industry. Thank you. Ginger, 
thank you for your time and thank you for allowing us to be recognized.